Welcome to Watch Code's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Xcode Ghost. You might have heard of Xcode. This is the uh, Apple OS X and iOS developer toolkit uh, to create applications for iOS and OS X. If you're a developer, you've probably downloaded this from Apple. In any case, Palo Alto Research found a malicious version of Xcode circulating on Chinese forums that they're calling Xcode Ghost. Long story short, if you compile any iOS app App with Xcode Ghost, your application will be backdoored with a piece of malware. This piece of malware is capable of learning all your device information and sending it in a command and control channel, and then allowing the attacker to use the framework to do things like find out your iCloud password, steal passwords from other applications, access your clipboard, and all kinds of very dangerous things. In fact, Apple, Palo Alto, and other researchers have found 39 to 300 malicious applications on the official Apple Store. Applications like WeChat, which is a very, very popular chat client in the Asia-Pacific region. Now the good news, at least for folks in the Americas, is most of these malicious applications seem to be popular Chinese and Asian applications. But if you're a developer that downloaded this unofficial version of Xcode, anything you built with it may be infected, and it's a pretty big deal. It's also quite surprising to see Apple's official App Store, which has a significant vetting process actually being infected with these malicious applications. Now the good news is Apple and researchers seem to have identified and blocked these applications. The folks that make them have recompiled safe versions of them. So hopefully if you're an Apple user you really shouldn't have to do anything other than make sure to update your applications. In any case it's a very interesting attack vector that I think will grow. For bad guys to actually infect development frameworks or tool sets or SDKs. This way everything compiled with that tool set will be infected. The takeaway here for developers is only to download these toolkits from their official sources and use checksums like SHA-1 or SHA-2 checksums to validate that what you've downloaded is very authentic. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.